Okay, so it was slow, slow start today. We got um, we checked out of our alberg just here. We've just been having coffee. And Kent's just checking on the map where we're going today. So we've got about 12 k's. Yep. And we're nursing injuries all around. We've got Kent with his uh, shin flints and shin splints. And we've got <laughs> Annie's got blisters on her feet. Chaz has got a broken toe. And uninjured. we're all, yeah, I seem to be doing right. But the other thing is. Wounded liver. Yeah, wounded <laughs> liver. So the only thing is, we've all got our packs on today. Everyone's fully loaded. So we're going to see how we go. Anyway. Hopefully it's an interesting Camino today. All right, we're leaving Bellarado and I just spotted a little bit of snow on that mountain over there. It's a bit fresh today, but uh, we're out of the town and we're on the Camino. Old bridge, the footbridge for the the pilgrims. That's oh, flowing, a bit of water. Very nice. Well, that spells it out fairly well because it's saying it's only 46 kilometers. It's breaking it up into three steps, 46 kilometers to Burgos, then 174 to Leon, and then just a simple 310 to Santiago. So yeah, easy stroll. So these are the normal markers we get on the trail. We get someone's got a hand painted arrow, yellow arrow with the, the, the shell. And uh, in this region, we've got these markers that's marking the trail everywhere, which are great, easy to see. But just spotted this one, which is the first one we've seen, which is actually giving us a, looks like a countdown to our destination, which is um, 554.6 kilometers. They've broken it right down. Okay. It's all good. It's all, only 564. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. All right, so this, trail has taken a little bit of a step back from the road which is good still getting some road noise but the countryside's fairly flat it's sort of a gradual rise and when the sun peaks out it actually feels warm but yeah. when the cloud oh. comes over it feels cold again <laughs> so I looked at the weather on the TV this morning and the northern part of Spain at the moment is getting a fresh cold front come through but they're having 40 degrees down in the south so yeah, 40 down on the oh coast. That's where we're heading after we finish the Camino. Oh, the heat wave will be over by the time we get there in a month. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully not too bad. Anyway, keep going. So we've just got rolling hills with all green, different shades of green. It's, yeah, it's pretty beautiful. Yeah, it's all just... That, yeah, there's a like a church built into the side of the hill over there. It's just all wheat still, wheat and I'm guessing barley, but the little villages are just dotted along the way, so we're about to come into another small village and then another one after that, so it's quite interesting in that department, but we're away from the road, it's just a background noise at the moment. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> you will be saved. There's a, that's where we've just stuck our heads in to see if we can get ourselves a, nice spot. get ourselves a feed and some refreshment, but they're shut, even with all the big signs up. Anyway, we're just going into the village, so hopefully we'll find something else. So the, the little village we're coming into is called Villa Bistia. Villa, William Bista, yeah. William Bistia. William Bistia. That's a difficult name to say. But, uh, pretty small little village, but coming right through the centre of it. Oh, there's a sign we like to see. We are open. Estimos abiertos. Okay, so we're going to stop, have a refreshment. This is Espinosa. Little cafe. Oh, it's looking good. Lots of tables. Want a caña, Yeah, I think you uh... These beautiful old 
buildings here, but there's an interesting sign that says on here, Santiago, pointing down the direction we're going, 531. And then we step down the road a little tiny bit, and we've got 548. So, this is the official blocks we've been seeing, which look quite new. So I would say this is probably accurate, this one. 17 kilometre discrepancy, so, yep. Expect that a bit in Spain, because quite often there's a directions are given at 200 metres, but it really turns into a kilometre. So I'm getting a view of into a village over here that's just two k's away. No, that's our that's our spot. That's the hotel and a burger. Well, they've got four beds. Yeah. Look at that. There it is. It's down in a little valley down there. The hotel, not the albergo. Anyway, we're nearly there, and the, the breeze is behind us, and it's cold. The wind across all the, the grains, it's got quite breezy, but we're only like a kilometre now from our destination. <laughs> 